Good morning, and thanks so much for joining us for Detroit Public Television's coverage of the 2018 Mackinac Policy Conference. I'm Christy McDonald, and for the next three days, we'll be here in the beautiful parlor of the Grand Hotel with 1,600 business leaders, educators, foundation heads, and politicians from around Michigan. They are all here on Mackinac Island to really tackle a lot of the big issues facing our state. And the agenda is packed with sessions and speakers focusing on creating a competitive Michigan workforce development, the future of mobility, politics, and restoring confidence and trust in government, media, and business. This is Detroit Public Television's eighth year, partnering with the Detroit Regional Chamber to provide an all-access pass to the rest of the state for this conference. We're gonna be streaming all of the sessions and interviews live right here. You'll be able to see them on demand at myweek.org. Plus, we'll have nightly shows from the island. You can check out our show, My Week, at 7.30 p.m. on Detroit Public TV. And one more thing for you, make sure you follow us on Twitter and on Facebook, where they are. Tell us what you think of the conference, the speakers, and what's on your mind. We want to hear from you. All right, so let's get our coverage started. We're diving right in with Macomb County Executive Mark Hackle. Good morning, Mark. It's good to see you. Good morning, Christy. Thanks for having me for the uh, for the intro. This is, I was just going to say you're the very Thanks. first guest as we uh, as we start off here I, this I feel, morning. I feel honored <laughs> on behalf of Macomb County. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. Um, but we have to start off with uh, something that everyone's talking about, and it's regional transit. And heading up here to Mackinac Island, I saw a headline that essentially said regional transit tax is dead it's never going to happen and that came from you and you've got people who are working on the island saying we need something with the rta explain why you say it's dead and, and they do i don't discount what the need is in the city of detroit or wayne county there's no question about it it's probably one of their priorities but i don't know if it's the main priority and i don't think it's the main priority of the region i say that because you know what when we start talking about transit in macomb county Macomb County has always supported regional transit through the smart system when it was first uh, brought in. And you in. don't have any communities that opt Not out Not a smart. one. And they're all supportive, always have. They've always, anytime that's, uh, the millage has been out there for, I guess, a renewal or an increase, the people overwhelmingly support it in Macomb County. But this plan, this plan moving forward, people are suspect by it. They're wondering, what is it that's in this plan that we're paying for that we couldn't otherwise get by going to SMART in Macomb County. And well, they're yeah, right. But, but haven't you had people from your staff working on this we along have. with Wayne County, along yes. with Oakland County and, and the mayor's office for the past year saying, can we find a better way? Yes. And in fact, the first plan that came out, 2016, was voted down, you know, and again in Macomb County overwhelmingly. Uh, it was close in Oakland County, though. Macomb was overwhelming. Right. I mean, it was uh, 60% of people said no, and that's never happened when it comes to SMART. So everybody else has got these opt-outs and the city of Detroit's out. So the question becomes, okay, how do we help them? How do we help them with their issue or what it is they're looking for? You know, and the question becomes, is it is it adding this value of trying to figure out how do we pay for a private investment that be in the queue line about the train that goes out to Ann Arbor? People are very suspect in questioning it in Macomb County saying, what's the real value of that? If we're just trying to get senior citizens to and from doctor visits, kids to school and trying to figure out how do we transport workers, we can do that. We could do it through the smart system. Why can't we get those to figure out how do they come on board to be part of the smart system and even DDOT itself? So that's you, what we're trying to do. But have you had that conversation to. this Many year then saying, you know what, forget Yes. this why don't we just concentrate on making every community buy into smart so would you support if there was kind of an increase then to expand smart well again it all depends on what's in the increase itself what is it specifically laid out for what are we looking to do with that funding or that money uh the biggest question is why it, the pushback on you know the opt-outs with the current plan i find very interesting because macomb county doesn't have an opt-out currently with the current existing plan with smart yet wayne county does and even in oakland county so the question is do you force those communities into it or do we just say, well, since they can't force them into it, let's force them through this plan. And Macomb County voters are saying, wait a minute, we don't have any opt-outs, but yet we're trying to force this new plan with a 1.5 mil ask, which they already turned down at 1.2 mil. So why would Macomb County voters support that? We support transit. We support helping the city of Detroit to figure out how do they connect or better connect with our system. Uh, but I'm going to tell you, SMART's got an initiative coming up. It's going to be on the ballot in August. I'm concerned that people are going to be looking at that and realizing, wait a minute, I'm confused. Is this is this the RTA or is this SMART? We want to make sure people are perfectly clear, especially Macomb County, the RTA is not SMART. What's on the ballot is SMART and support that you always have. So Warren Evans says, well, look, you're just renewing a millage here. This is, you're sticking with the status quo. And we've heard from Amazon. We've heard from other, you know, other entities saying, we're not coming to Detroit because that is part of the puzzle that they don't have a regional transit system. Yeah, part of the puzzle meaning lower on the list. I got I to gotta believe it's more of the regional, uh, if you will, concerns dealing with crime. 
uh, crime in the city of Detroit. Do you think it's crime? You don't think it's workforce? You don't no, think, I think we have a trained, we don't have a trained workforce? I think it's, I think it's uh, without question, public education. I mean, there's no question or problem with the city of Detroit. The image issue isn't the image issue. It's a reality issue. What are we doing to solve that? What are we doing about our infrastructure and roads? So instead, we keep leading and trying to force this issue that's something that's dividing us. And it's this RTA discussion that we already voted no on. Yeah, Mark, let me ask together? you this. Let me ask you this. Does it have to be either or? Does it have to be, well, we're going to either fund roads or we're going to do this? No, I, I believe it can be both. But the question is, how much effort is being put into how do we fund the roads there's very little conversation of any nobody's talking about how do we change act 51 what do we need to do to solve that problem and we got a major crisis on our hands when it comes to roads and infrastructure mm -hmm. i got a 1.2 billion dollar need today that is going to just continue to exacerbate and become even more of a problem if we don't have focus on it there's zero conversation taking place right now with how do we come together to solve the road funding issue there's not a lot of conversation right now talking about what we're doing with the educational issues in the city of Detroit. and when it comes to roads or transportation rather we're all engaged. We'll continue to talk to figure out how do we make it smart plus. Well, I think how we're going we to hear better? a lot more about education. It's not only in Detroit. We've got an education problem couldn't agree state, more. statewide. I couldn't agree more. You know, but let me ask you this. So you talk about regional cooperation and, you know, I you've had good conversations. You've worked well with Warren Evans and with Brooks Patterson in the past and with Mayor Mike Duggan. This feels a little fractured here. It is. It is, and I think it's because what you got is you got a plan that just didn't go through. It didn't get the, it didn't get the pass from the public, and so now what you're trying to do is force the issue. And so since people aren't buying the plan, you know you shouldn't have to force it. You shouldn't have to get people to say, you know, uh, either you do this or we're coming after you in an election, or or you know you, you're you're doing this because you don't like Detroit or whatever. If you're starting to come after it from a different angle, meaning using other tactics, it just means you have a bad plan and it's not sellable. People aren't buying it. So what we're tending to see now is some negative comments, and I refuse to allow that to be part of that gifts, if you will, the history of this, uh, this challenge here. I will not allow this to divide us. We're going to continue the conversations. But I can't just say, you know what, just to kind of satisfy everybody and make everybody happy, let's put it on a ballot when it's already been said, it's voted so, down. So in what Cole are County. people saying to you and stopping you in, in the parlor right now? And mm -hmm. are they giving you an earful or what? You know what, what's more important to me is what are the people at home saying in Macomb County? And I'm going to tell you overwhelmingly, there hasn't been one person since I've been county executive say to me, we need to fix regional transit because they support the, the system that we have in that smart. Not one. But every day I hear people saying, fix our roads, do something about our roads, will you? And then mm -hmm. every time I talk to a company, manufacturing, manufacturing company. We have historic highs when it comes to workforce numbers in Macomb County now. Un unemployment is at the historic lows, and yet I still have 17,000 jobs unfilled in Macomb County. What they're saying is talent, talent attraction. How do we get people here? And as far as the transportation, the we can get them there through SMART. There isn't anything we can't do through SMART. And even that plan that offers some, I guess, if you will, changes, there's nothing in it that we can't do already with our current, if you will, millage that we have in place. So do you anticipate any kind of questions of going back to the drawing board? Or is this, if, if nothing comes, of, is, is it dead? Is it done? Yeah, it's not going to get out of ballot again. I mean, there's, there's no question about it. So the question is, did we go back to the drawing board? We should have been talking about this all along. You can't just try to force something in. I, we're willing to figure out how do we help Detroit with whatever problems or challenges, even Wayne County. Um, if it's trying to figure out how to get people to opt into the system, if it's trying to figure out how do we work with DDOT and make it a better connect, let's do that. And we can we can make that happen. I have no doubt that we can do that, and we're committed to making that happen. When you leave the island on Friday, what's uh, one thing that you want to have accomplished? You know what? I was hoping that we could change the conversation to get people to start realizing infrastructure roads are, are drastically important in southeast Michigan. And the other one is the talent attraction. What are we doing to really get kids prepared for these jobs? The underserved population uh, uh, cued into what's going on with these jobs available that are mm -hmm. out there. And uh, getting people to realize, you know what, we're, we're not at a disadvantage. We just got to focus our attention on that, whether it's the state, county, and or local level. Uh, all hands on deck, and we can solve this problem. All right, Macomb County Executive Mark Hackle, it's always good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks, Chris. Enjoy Thanks the rest of the me. conference. You bet.